Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you the game between Mikhail Dahl and Lev Parovevsky. This is the game from Soviet Union Championship that was played in Tbilisi in 1959. And where is Tbilisi? Hmm? Tbilisi is a city in Georgia. Actually, Tbilisi is the capital city of Georgia. Let's have a look at the game. In this game, Mikhail Tal had white pieces and he started with e4. Lev Porogensky played c5, Sicilian defense. Knight to f3, d6, d4, c takes on d4, knight takes on d4, knight to f6, attacking the pawn on e4, defending. And Porogensky played a6, Neidorf, Sicilian. Bishop to g5, knight from b to d7. Bishop to c4, queen to a5, pinning the knight, threatening knight takes pawn on e4, unpinning e6, and Tal castled kingside, not risking to castle queenside. Bishop to e7, rook from a to d1. Knight to c5, rook from f to e1, bishop to d7, a3, threatening b4, forking two pieces, queen to c7, b4, attacking the knight, knight to a4, knight takes knight, bishop takes knight, threatening queen takes bishop, why to move? White squared bishop is under attack. What is the best square for the bishop? Is it b3, a2, d3, or something else? f1. What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Tal found the best square for his bishop. He sacrificed the bishop on e6, and this is not even clear if this sacrifice will work. The game continued. Pawn takes bishop. Knight takes on e6, attacking the queen and the pawn on g7. Queen takes on c2, and black would be extremely happy if he can exchange queens. Queen to d4. King to f7, attacking the knight and defending the pawn on g7. Rook to c1, attacking the queen. Queen to a2, threatening queen takes knight. How to defend the knight? Tal played e5, not caring about his horses and chariots. He only wants to get the black king. D takes on e5, queen takes on e5, black to move. Polugaevsky did his deep thinking and decided to go for the endgame. How do you go for the endgame in this position? This is what he played, queen takes on f2, check. Let's look at another variation. Very sensible one, very sensible looking one. Rook from h to e8. Then Tal would probably continue like this. Bishop takes on f6. Bishop takes, bishop, rook to c7 check. Rook to e7, rook takes rook. King takes rook. Queen to c7 check. Bishop to d7, knight to c5. Discover check, and after king to f7, queen takes on d7 check, winning for white. So, Polugaevsky decided to go for the endgame. This is check. King takes queen. Knight to g4 check, forking the king and the queen. King to g1. Knight takes on e5. Rook takes knight. Bishop takes bishop, knight takes bishop, 
check king to g6. The dust has settled and Polugaevsky is very pleased that his king survived the attack. At the same time, material is equal. What is Tal thinking? He is only thinking how to get black king even with the army that shrunk a little bit. The game continued. Knight to e6. Rook from h to e8, pinning the knight. Rook to e3. Rook from a to c8. Rook to f1. Bishop to b5, attacking the rook. Rook to g3, check. King to h6. Why to move? What now? If, for example, rook to e1, then g5. And black is okay. So Tal captured the pawn on g7 with knight. Rook to f8. If bishop takes on f1, knight takes rook and white is better. Rook to f8. Rook to e1. Tal is not interested in exchanging rooks. Rook to f6. White to move. What is the strongest move for white in this position? Have a good look. What would you do? The strongest move is? No jacking. Making a safe room for the king to avoid back rank problems. Rook to c2. Rook to e4. Threatening what? Checkmate. Rook to c4. Rook to e5. Threatening again. Checkmate. Black to move. Black considered rook to h4. But then knight to f5 check. Winning the rook. Or the other one. So we have rook to c1 check. You can call it a spite check. White to move. White. Play the move. And black resigned. What move is that? King to h2. Black resigned. One line goes like this. Rook to g6. Now rook to h5 doesn't work. Because then king takes knight. But there is knight to f5 check. And after king to h5. Discover check. King to h6. Knight takes rook. Pawn takes knight. Rook to e6 and we can stop here. What a game. What a fight. What we can say about this game. Pologevsky fought really well. I think he even thought that he equalized at one stage. But Tal was simply too strong. What do you think of this game? What do you think of this bishop sacrifice in this position? What would you do in this position? Would you sacrifice your bishop for the attack? Or would you play a safe move? That is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your king hunt and bye for now.